Hi, we're playing Lai or Li. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's like some pro gamer trying to think they're a pro gamer or not when they're like Li. You know, the one free free something? It doesn't matter. Anyway, the light eating dragon and the vermilion vampire. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but this game was bought for me by, um, um, Lady Phantom. There we go. I didn't look it up. Don't worry about it. Did it. Let's do it. Long ago, in a small town, they lived a family of vampires. They were very kind souls and get along well with the humans there. But one dark night, one of these kind vampires attacked a human in town. Before anyone knew it, they had already sucked out all of the human's blood. The news that they had attacked a human was soon revealed to the others. The vampire was executed, and the townspeople lived happily ever after. Da, 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 da. Are vampires real? Are they the bad guys? Vampires did exist, but not anymore. And if they were bad, I wouldn't know. In fact, I even doubt this vampire attacked their victim willingly. It's getting late. We should get to bed. Why can't we all sleep together? If you do, the wolf will come. So lock the door and fall asleep quickly. Or they'll gouge on your insides. Fairies are like that. If you stay up too late, you won't be able to get sleep at all. Okay. Good night, father. Da, 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 da. So, how much more do we have to walk? Hey, Papa, are you listening? You are, right? Shut up, Runt. We're almost there. Just be quiet and walk. I'm not Runt. I'm Effie. And stop calling me that. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> you're mean, Papa. Come on, you're always calling yourself different names. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Mm, sure, a piggyback ride. That'll be a hundred thousand G's. Ugh. <gasps> Big dummy. See, we're here. And remember, call me Leo here. Eh? Got it. Yeah. I'm Leo, like in a way out, but I don't have a big nose this time. V Vermilion. It says Vermilion Town. Oh, I'm getting clever by the day. As long as you don't forget it right away. Eh. Mm. I am a level three. I want to save. I did it. So, what are we doing now? There's an informant here, so we're going to sell the info we got at the last town. And this town seems to have got a bit of glean to itself, so we'll look at the end to that. And then go sell that info? Yeah, also shut your trap. What? <laughs> okay! Right, first a place to stay, let's try and find some people. These houses are very square. Can I live in your cardboard box? Hmm? Huh? Why are you here? What's the matter to you? Why are you here? Just resting my feathers. I'm tired. I'll be fishing for info later. Alright, if you find anything out about the town's legend, tell me about it. Please. You better pay for it. What do you take me for? Hmm. A lot of people like to pause in their speech here. The dot dot dots. What role players always put to make it seem like they're deep in thought. 
but really don't know what the fuck to say next. Probably use better in stories though. You know, when it's like four out and stuff. You think? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself now. It's weird having to talk whilst uh, there's a chat to back you up. I checked all of these cardboard boxes. You're the big cardboard box. What are you? <gasps> it's a kitty. He doesn't talk. Cool. This one. You are a... Hmm? Harry wore a green jacket before, had black hair. Ah, it took me a bit to realise. Changed my, your whole appearance again, huh? But that scar on your cheek never changes, does... Hmm, who's the kid? I'll see you later. You know where the residents of this place are. Oh, need a place to stay? Talk to a guy at the largest house in the northeast. I think the people there are the only real residents. Should lend you a place easy. I see. Thanks. I'll be back later. Bye now. You too, kid. That's... Let's go before she makes this any more of a bother. I'm going. I'll be upset if my cardboard box the box only had a table in the house. Sh be What's up? Shinabe. I lied to something that said Shinabe. Remember, kids, don't lie to people who say Shinabe. I'm gonna attack you. You're also going to get attacked. Ow. Uh, uh, he, he slapped me. Slap it back. S slap it back. Yeah, slap the lie. Slap it about. Yeah. Got 30 experience in 22G. It popped. That's how lies work, I guess. You lie at them and then they pop. I have no idea what's going on. Oh? Hello, the name's Leo. I'd like to ask you something. Oh yes, that's perfectly fine. Is there anything where in town we could stay? Got food for us, so a place is all I need. You're travellers? Well, there is a place, yes. My sister and I are the only current residents of this town, you see. We can stay anywhere but this house and library, at no cost. Don't worry. Right, thanks for the help. But a few people are renting houses, so, well... Ah, uh, no. The house with the crates outside was just sorted, so it should be usable right away. Just, if you're staying a few days, don't go out late at night. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, what I mean is... There's a vicious wolf that goes around attacking at night at people... <laughs> I read that in the right order. That's... Right, I see. Take care of yourself. Alright, if you need anything, I'll be usually be here at home. Oh, yes, introductions. I'm Keith. Keith Rigfire. Glad to meet you. Keith, is it? Sorry to bother you. Thanks again. Well, I'll be seeing you. What? A wolf? That's scary. That's so scary. And you're not a traveller, Papa. And you're not Leo either. Liar! I'm Leo here. Just Leo. Gotta run. Yeah. D don't yell at me. Okay, got it. Leo. Good. We've got a place to crash, so let's get to the infomet. You have a fancy cardboard box. My little sister Rachel, she's very shy. She rarely ever talks, she's the quiet type. As her brother, her future is a little worrying to me. I'm getting up in your face. I'm not supposed to talk to people. Cool. See you, the nerd. What are these? A stuffed rabbit. They're all rabbits. Do you have a kitchen? Oh boy. Do I check it out? Seasonings and other things. Just like you wet. Sparkly. I can't open the drawer. More stuffed rabbits. This is a crooked painting. Mirror. It's off kilter. Oh, of course. Lots of books. None of these descriptions are particularly interesting. It doesn't really look like it's uh, gonna 
do any other conversation. So probably not gonna look at every little thing. Like I usually do. Sometimes when you look at little things they like spark off conversations. But not in this case. Oh look, it's a lie. I'm gonna lie to you. A car. I need to level up. You gotta understand. Slapping noises. Yeah. No experience. Oh man. Athena's level increased by one. You got stuff. It popped. The cardboard box with the crates outside. This one. This one. There's something here. You got serrated knife and small macaroon. Macaroon. God, I'm gonna have 50 to attack. Is that good? I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably like messed up the game already. I'm gonna get the worst ending because I'm lying all the time. Just lies everywhere. Small cookie. What? Why are you? What? Sure. Okay. We did it. I'm gonna save. Did it. How do I initiate the. Oh, an oil lamp. How does one initiate the next cutscene? I wish to know. That's just the way of JRPGs. I now wish to leave. I did it. How? What am I doing? What is life? Hello? Got a room? Yeah, now let's get to business. It totally didn't take me like five minutes to find out what to do next. Right, right, I've been looking forward to this. So, the bluebird really does exist. Yeah, I couldn't capture it, but good enough, right? And you bought a feather. That and the info is enough for me. Here's your reward. So I heard you came upon a dragon egg. Is it true? Yeah, about that. Huh. Huh? Huh? She hatched. From the egg. I still don't get it either. You serious? Real. Lee? Real for real. <laughs> Eek. Watch it, mister. Gotta be nice to girls, okay? And now you get a hug. Like this. Yeah. And he got slapped. Although the slap noise is a full on attack, so you got attacked. I'm sorry I stabbed you, sir. So, what kind of dragon is she? Thunder? Amiibo? Amoba? Amoeba? She eats lies. That's her diet. She can breathe fire, kinda. Be faster to show you. Okay, Runtling. That's Effie to you. Well, you see, Effie. Me and him are brother and sister. No way! Yep, I lied. Oh, and now what? She gets physical. And now we're gonna slap it. Yeah. Slap. Slap. That's what you get. I see, I see. That was fast as to show me. Never heard of, and definitely never seen a dragon like this before. Huh, really? So not even you? But that's about it for now. I'm exhausted from walking. Gotcha. If it's okay by you, I'd pay a pretty penny for this kid. Eh? The rent's not for sale. I'll sell you info on her, maybe. Greedy, greedy. Why'd you pick this town into doing any business in anyway? So inconvenient to reach, and I don't think the value in the info is worth it. <laughs> well, if that vampire legend is true, it'd be worth my time, yes. Vampires. Pfft. They go chasing fairy tales. I'd sooner consider dragons to fairy tales myself. I'm told their bloodline ended a long time ago, and I'm sure I'm right. Says who? Says my gut. That's... Well, if anything comes up, I'll help with what I can. At a price, of course. Right. See ya. I'm exhausted. Can you sell dragons? Eh, well, they're rare. 
They get sturdy bodies that they could fetch a good price. Mainly as slaves. Slaves? Anyways, look into it yourself if you want to know. I've got things to do. You can go off and play. Just don't leave the town. Don't go anywhere strange. Here's a snack for later. Okay, hooray! I- oh. Dad? Dad! Dad, you left me alone! Dad, please! My dad left me alone. Help. Help. Hmm? Lost your energy? I'm hungry. Now I see, I'll give you cookies. Thank you. Alright, but only if you win this game with me. Game? I've got a ball here. You just gotta guess which hand I got it in. Got it! Here it goes. Ho! 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 Ha! Which one? Why don't you ask him first, and then you can eat the lie of which one he says it is. You know? I mean, you have that power. Yeah, you got me. A sneaky lady. But better than that guy you're always with, huh? Yeah. Honest, I like that. Here's your prize. We'll play again sometime. About the same age as that girl in the house. Boom, but I guess dragons don't change in appearance much as they age. Effie, she was just born a little while ago. Huh, only recently, huh? But you can talk already. Were you born with clothes? Or were you dressed up by your father like that? Hmm, I see. I'm playing. I'm gonna go to the feather lady. Hello. Hmm, all alone now? Effie's all alone now. Hmm, well, want to talk for me for a bit? Shall I tell you the story of the butterfly whose flapping caused a tornado? Or has the story of that dreaming illness? For money? Right. N no thanks. He taught you well. Hmm. Huh? Ah, right. If you're bored, would you call my partner here for me? He should be in the library. His name is Levin. Recognizable by being a cat. Okay. Please and thank you. I'm going. Also, I'm saving. I did it. I saved. You proud of me? No one's proud of me. Oh, there's a dragon. Uh. Um, are you Mr. Levin? Yes, and... Um, well, I I don't know, actually know a name, huh? Leo the crazy hair? He goes, tick, tick, a bunch of cord for you. Ah, uh, you mean Rosalie. I see. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Hey, kitty. That's settled then, I guess. Very complete. Okay, what's next? Viv, hmm? Viv, hmm? What, you want to play on something? I do. Yeah, let's play. Alright then, let's play word chains. You start. R is for relay. Yama. Yeah. R is for roulette. Entertainer. Um, R is for ruler. Register. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I don't know anymore. Then we're done. See ya. You're no fun. That's. Oh, bye, Dad. Jeez. Ah, uh, on your own no there. On your own now. The town doesn't have much in the way of, of places to play, so it must be boring for a child. Effie's not a child, so I'm not bored. Is that right? On me. Uh oh my. Would you like something to eat? I like making sweets, so I could whip something up. Yeah, I love sweets. Oh, they won't make me full though. Are you of a race that only eats something in particular? Yeah, mister mister, tell a lie for me. A lie? I was cleaning until just now. After that I did some reading. And I finished making dinner a little while ago. <gasps> what are these? Uh, now I punch him! Which one's the lie? Uh, which is it? I don't know. I finished making dinner. Probably the truth. I can see dinner there. After that I did some reading. I have no idea. I was cleaning earlier. I mean, that's probably the truth. Maybe the reading? I'm gonna hit you with a cookie. That's how things work in this world. Eat. Oh wait, no, I have a macaroon. Yeah. 
yeah, eat tasty treats and slap it in your face. That's what we do around here. Slapping. That's how we solve arguments and shit. I got stuff. I learned fire. Blech, gross. This is the truth. Oops. Well then. A broom. Um, this is a lie. Would you like a fire? Would you like more fire? I'm going to die. Uh, I could just slap him. Eh. I got it. Excuse me. I need to go. I need to go rest. You know, Pokemon Center. That kind of stuff. It's the same deal. Oh no. Yes. Okay, I'm alive again. Okay, we can talk. So, this is what you call eating a lie? Yeah, right. Hmm, I never knew of such a race. A race has a special diet too, but lies? That's surprising. Does your family ever leave the town, mister? Ugh, no. There are many roads impassable by vehicles, so it's inconvenient even getting here. Inconveni? Yes, you're tired from your trip too, I suppose. Yeah, and the town being empty is very worrying as well. I'm rather frail, and my sister is a younger and frailer girl still. Whoa, huh, I feel bad for you guys. Bad? Well, there's all these lands and towns all over the world. You haven't seen it all, but it's all different. And all great. The world's really huge. If you say so. But I'm satisfied with a small world, my dear sister. Still, thank you kindly for the conversation. Hehe. <laughs> Dots. You didn't make any dinner. <gasps> Hi. I just want someone to talk with for a little bit. Okay. Uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, Rachel. I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Effie. Is that ma red man who was with you your runner? Nah, Leo's dad. Your father. I don't have a father anymore. Just my brother. Huh, really? Yeah, when we were little, he just collapsed one day. The next day he was gone. Are you lonely without your dad? It's fine. My brother's here. He's really nice. Oh, but... But? One time he did... You... You might wanna... He looked really sad. Eh. Leo uh, yells at me, sure, but he's never strangled me. Oh, I see. Maybe we're different then. We're a different race from townspeople. That's why everyone went away. Yeah? Hmm? I don't get it, but if you don't like something, you should just say so. Say Just say, say no. Or else nobody you know. Yep. I also do not like being strangled. No? No! Yep. Because consent is heart. No. Once more. No! You got it. <laughs> Thanks. It was fun talking with you. Yeah, you talked a bunch, Rachel. But you should play outside sometime too. Let's play again later. No! <laughs> yeah, I lied. Yeah, let's play. It's a lie. No, no. I wonder if I should eat this. Eat it. Slapping around at the speed of sound. Dots. Why has it changed music? I don't know what the repercussions of eating lies are. There's night time. Am I going to bed? Hi dad. Had fun? Yeah. Alright, now give me the usual. Tell me everything that happened and what you heard from people. Okay. That's it? Yep, that's all for now. I see. That lead lends credence to the theory of them being descendants of vampires. Vam? A race that thrives on people's blood. They eat blood or drink it? Suck. 
They attack people and suck out every last drop. They die? Yes, yes they do. They don't like deflated balloons afterwards. These days, vampire bloodlines have weakened such that they don't drink blood anymore. But it's also possible that their nature is just lying dormant. In any case, the info is too shaky to say anything yet. Yawn. I said yawn. I didn't actually yawn. Sleepy. They're going to bed. You should too. I don't go anything weird. Hey, Leah? Don't grab my sleeves, just because they're long. Why do you think I eat lies anyway? If I knew that, you'd have a mountain of sweets in front of you by now. Really? Well, why am I the only one who can eat lies? You and other people can't. Yeah. Well, well, I'm not sure, but it's a fantastic power. I know it like nobody else's. See, Effie, even if you mean to tell lies, they end up haunting you. And lies that come out of guilt and regret are all... They get bigger. Then it gets too much to handle, and lies completely overtake you, and then... Just total darkness. But, if you eat people's lies before that happens, you can keep them from that fate. So I think it's a wonderful power. I see! Hehe, <laughs> so I'm pretty amazing! Oh yes, so very amazing. But when you lie, Leo, pe monsters don't appear like with other people. Listen, Effie, everything I say is 100% truth. Even if I lie, if a lie is never found, it's not really a lie. Eh? Okay, I'm off to bed. Huh, but now it only just started. Go to bed, now. Okay. I'm not even sleepy. Let's go have fun. Okay. But... Yeah. I still don't know what's going on. We're gonna eat lies. Le eat. As it were. Ha 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 ha. Boy! <laughs>